Greetings, viewers. This is a Starport Omega minicast with your host, Tom Tardis. Has this ever happened to you? I want to pull the audio out of this video file. Uh, I recorded this video a little while back, and I just want the sound. So I'm going to use Audacity over here to edit the sound, fix some problems, and then eventually use this in a video that I'm going to edit. So let's move this up. Wait, what's going on here? Video tanks takes this. Oh, this is not good. So this is an advanced audio coding file. Without the optional library, you can't open this type of file. Okay, so what's going on here is the audio type, the sound that's in this video is actually AAC audio. It's the kind that Apple uses on the iPod and the iPhone. Uh, it's used in many of the MPEG-4 videos that you download off of, you know, pretty much anywhere that you download videos. And um, this requires a uh, patent license in order to actually sell software that can play the, these videos with this audio type in it. Since um, Audacity is free, they can't afford, obviously can't afford to pay the patent fees, so they are not including the library that actually lets you play this video. So fortunately, there is a cheap and easy fix. We'll click the help button over here. That's going to take us to a page that's going to tell us what I just told you, it, but it doesn't actually right away tell you how to do it. Uh, import audio. Blah, 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 blah. We don't have all that. So what we're going to do is we are going to skip past some of this stuff. Uh, click the FFmpeg link right here. This is going to take you to a frequently asked questions about FFmpeg. And again, depending on your operating system, click on the installation section for your operating system. What you've actually got to do is, um, for full instructions, please see, I thought that's where we were. So finally, it's going to go to give us a link to the FFmpeg download page. Um, I suppose we could have, I could have taken the short path and just told you it's at lame.buanzo.org, uh, pound lame W-I-N-D-L. So make sure to grab the recommended version. Um, I've already got a copy of this file downloaded, so instead of downloading it and making you go through that, I'm just going to go ahead and open mine. Now you might be tempted to put the library in your Audacity directory. I don't recommend that. Instead, what you want to do is create a new directory in your program files x86, and then copy your FFmpeg files in there. All right. So we'll stick it in there, and that way when we download future versions, we can drop it in there, and that keeps it separate from Audacity. So we're just going to copy it over there. Uh, we're going to get a question about, do we really want to put it in there? So we say yes. Thanks, Windows, for keeping us safe. The one we're, file we're looking for is actually avformat55.dll. Now we are going to tell Audacity where to find the FFmpeg library that we just installed. Okay, now that we're back in Audacity, what you want to do is go to Preferences. So edit preferences. Then we're going to locate the libraries node here. Click locate. This gives us the option to find your FFmpeg that you just downloaded. Since I've already got mine installed, we're going to we're going to do this again here. So start in the C drive. I'm going to go to program files x86. And then we're going to go to our FFmpeg directory where we uh, placed those files earlier. Now you'll notice that there's a little bit of a bug here on Audacity and that it doesn't actually have .dll in the file name. So it actually isn't going to locate the file even though it's there. Don't let that fool you. Just go down here and select dynamically linked libraries and make sure to select avformat-55.dll and if you did everything correctly you'll see the FFmpeg library version right here above the button. Once it has a version number, you should be able now to import MPEG-4 videos with AAC audio. There it is. Well, that's the end of our tutorial. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope to see you soon.